my own message to in this executive seminar is that better counterterrorism requires compliance with human rights and vice versa. We um, reach better results in fighting against terrorism when from the very beginning this is designed with compliance with human rights. This is a position not shared only by human rights experts but also counterterrorism professionals increasingly agree that there are no shortcuts. You reach sustainable results in the fight against terrorism by including compliance with human rights in the design of the strategy and in design of the measures. Okay. Um, we organized this executive seminar uh, in, in, in tandem with a high-level policy seminar. I think uh, it's obviously been very uh, fruitful uh, for both events, but could, could you tell us more about how this uh, works in practice? This time, the EU I organized not only an executive seminar on the fight against terrorism, but also a high-level policy seminar to debate over one day uh, the issues and related issues. That was primarily focused on the transatlantic dimension. How does EU, how does the United States fight against terrorism? Where's compliance with the rule of law and human rights in that equation? I think we had a very good uh, group convened together and a nice interaction between academics, practitioners and policy makers. One of the uh, important parameters of these high-level policy seminars is that basically academics put forward the challenges and the policy makers are there to re react and to respond. And uh, that's a unique thing uh, when we are dealing it, uh, with the issues within a university.